Good day Toronto. Welcome to Street Talk on Real Estate with Riaz Rauf. Today it's going to be slightly different to the other programs because I'll be accommodating one question from the audience and the question that is being picked today is very appropriate because I need to tell you which month it is also. Um, we are in the month of August and in the second week and it's a time some may call it turbulent in the real estate industry when there are volume sales on a decline and prices month over month has seen five months of decline and also interest rates going up and the inflation being at a record high. So the question that's been asked is, is this a good time to buy investment property and what is a good investment property in today's scenario in Toronto? So let me try to answer this as to the best of my ability. There are many options that are available. I will first advise you on what we have already done for a client uh, three weeks ago. And then I can also tell you what I am on the lookout on my own at the moment to buy probably by the second week or the first week of September, not right now till this month ends. A. This is an investor client buying their first investment home and we bought it on the 6th of June and we closed the transaction on the 26th of June, a short close. And then we also leased out the property on the 4th of August and for $2,500 we had a choice of choosing between six different tenants and it was on multiple offers that we chose a very young couple and also who paid us six months advance in advance with instead of the first at the last one month. So this is the scenario and the property was purchased for 650000 in North York. So let me give you a uh, scenario why we went for this property. We had to make sure that this is appreciating property and our clients holding on period is anything between five to six years that they were willing to hold on. So we chose a room and a den with a car park in North York and the building is one year new. I'm not giving out the names here because it might, I might be talking of another developer so it might be of uh, conflict. However, 650,000 room at a den with a car park in North York, one year old. And the reason for us to buy this is right opposite this building, which is about 50 meters away, there's a new condominium development that's coming up. And a like for like 625 square feet room and a den with a car park with the development fee and all the fees involved at this point in time if you sign up the price is $855,000 and to be delivered in another four years but of course five years so we are looking at 2027 delivery period. So we are going and buying a property which is only one year old same square feet for $650,000 whereas the developer is selling to be given in 2027 at 855,000 today. So it's a no brainer to invest in such properties. And there is a lot in town for such properties. Now, let's break out, break down the amounts. 650,000 with a down payment of 20% on a 30 year amortization, we managed to get it, the, the monthly principal amount to be paid is $822. The interest rate, interest to be paid is $1,505. The maintenance fee is $522. And the property tax is $196. So all those put together, the total cash outflow for a month is $3,045. This property is being rented out for $2,500. So there is a deficit of $545 a month at this point in time. What is important is when you look at these properties, you can think of this deficit and not buy or look at the greater picture and still go for it. Now, 
If you were to have a balance sheet and run this as your business, let me show you the profit. So your total outflow is 3,045. Of that, your principal payment is $822 that your tenant is paying. And your out of pocket every month is $545 by minus the $822 that you get as principal payments you are better off or you are having a positive $277 to you in terms of assets but not in, in, in wealth but not in terms of money right away. So this is in our opinion is a worthy investment and a conservative and a good investment. Now let's put it the other way around. What are our expectations for this property in six years time? Our expectation with the regional developments in that area and the other few new buildings that are coming up, we look at an 8% appreciation over the next six years. So that's a 48% appreciation or we expect this property value to be at 975,000 in six years time, minimum conservative estimates. If you were to sell, we are looking at a 325,000 profit at that stage. And of course, there we are looking at when you look at the 325,000 as a profit, there is more money that's coming in because all almost 20,000 is paid off by the by the tenant with in terms of more money that's coming in to pay off the principal. So you got to add another 20,000. So your net gains are 345,000 minus sales expenses of approximately 45,000, which leaves you a profit, a good reasonable profit of. 300,000 after six years. This 300,000 divided by your down payment of 130,000 is equal to 38% ROI per year. So that's a huge investment return to have risk-free 38% on an annual basis. Now compare this with the property that is already selling at 850,000. We estimate that property probably to appreciate around 5% over the next six years or 30% and by the end of the same period in six years, the value would be about 1,105,000 on, on, on that property. So it's no brainer that this is a good investment. So I would encourage you to give me a call or you can click on the links below. And of course you can subscribe to this uh, channel too and please, Give us a call. Let us let us know what your time frames are when you want to do an investment and how you want to do it and what is your ability to afford a outflow, a negative outflow up to what? Maybe it might be $250 a month, maybe it's a $500 a month. We can always work it out. We can talk about it and start looking at a blueprint to act, put into action when you are ready. One thing that's very important with us is we do not push you to buy something now or sell something now. All what we are going to do is empower with the knowledge of how to do it and what to do. Please give us a call at 647-283-1966. And please remember to subscribe Street Talk with Riaz Rauf. Thank you very much. extremely important to understand that I am giving my opinions here as a realtor and an investor serving myself, my family and my friends. It's also important to understand while talking about real estate, obviously we will be talking about legal side, finances and taxes. However, I am not an expert on those and I urge you to seek expert advice when it comes to those three matters.